welcome to Rainbow Tech. I am Vishwanath. In this video, I will show you how to install Ubuntu in your PC. So, first of all, we require universal USB installer which will create a bootable USB. So, and you also require an empty USB and uh, Ubuntu ISO file. It can be of uh, any version 14.04 and 15.04, it can be of any version then I will give link in the description of this video for universal USB installer so first you have to click on this and click on agree and select Ubuntu and select Ubuntu ISO file and select the USB drive and select format and then click on create it will show some instructions read it and click on yes uh, yeah, it started. It's starting. Uh, started to create bootable USB. First, it will format it. Then it will start it. Start to create bootable USB. Yeah, it started. As you can see, it's copying the file to the USB drive. You can see it's almost done. Yeah. Yeah, it's done. Then click on close. The bootable USB has been created. And then go to disk management. You have to sync some volume for in, uh, to install Ubuntu. So I uh, will take 25,000 MB nearly equals to 24 point something GB click on shrink yeah I got 24.42 GB unallocated then exit this window exit all the window go to PC setting go to update and recovery go to recovery and advanced startup click on start now I mean restart now it will uh, it's as you can see it's restarting to the re restart you can see this window here you have to choose troubleshoot then advanced option then UEFI for map setting and click on restart after this you can see this window uh, it is a bootloader window uh, it's different for different kind of PCs I'm using HP PCs so in HP it's showing like this for Dell, Acer and other laptops it will be different so uh, you have to select BIOS setting I mean BIOS setup as you can see in my case it's F10 BIOS setup yeah click on F10 then as you can see the settings are displayed so we have to go to system configuration and then go to boot option and then you have to disable secure boot disable secure boot as you can see in my case it's already disabled because I have previously installed Ubuntu so it's already disabled so you have to disable the secure boot and then escape and then exit saving changes in your case it will display some numbers plus enter to save changes so you have to enter that number and then plus enter uh, enter button uh, then you can save the setting and it will restart it as you can see my PC is restarting it will take some time my PC is restarted I want to shut down my PC click on shut down here yeah, has been shut down so I have to go to bootloader so press start button and then press exit for three times 
then I can see the boot menu option. In many computers, it's different. In HP computer, it's Xscape. In Dell, it can be uh, F12 or F1, depending on the model. And in uh, um, uh, different type of computer, the keys are different. So if you don't know the key, then Google it and search it, and then you can go to the bootloader. So in my bootloader, uh, I want to I want to install Ubuntu, which is in my USB drive. So in uh, F9, it's saying boot device option. So I have to press F9. In F9, it's showing USB hard drive, SanDisk cursor blade. So there is second option called Ubuntu, which is a grub of Ubuntu. I have previously installed and removed it. So I have to install Ubuntu again. So select the SanDisk cursor blade. It's showing install Ubuntu and try Ubuntu without installing. I am in this video. Uh, I will install the Ubuntu. So press install Ubuntu. Now you can see the Ubuntu menu. It's showing Ubuntu. As you can see the Ubuntu operating system, uh, it's asking for language, English is uh, my preferred language, you can select any preferred language, press on continue, it's showing uh, internet is disconnected, ok, and click on install the third party software and then click continue. In the next window, it's uh, asking installation type. You can choose erase disk and install Ubuntu, which uh, which will erase all your data and Ubuntu will be installed. So I will not you choose that option. I will choose something else. I want to dual boot with Windows and Ubuntu. I prefer that because no none of my data will be erased. Press on continue. Yeah, as you can see in this window, um, I have free space, which is 26215, free space, click on plus, and here, I want 2048, 2 GB of space for swap area, then click on OK. I have created swap area after that uh, we have to choose free space which is reduced by 2 GB of data which is 24167 MB click on plus click on ext4 journaling file system and mount your root in this directory press ok After that, you have to select ATA Toshiba, which is uh, uh, my hard, hard disk brand. You have to select that. Uh, it can be of any type, but you have to select that first one only for dual boot. Then press on install now. Select your country. Press next. Select your preferred language for keyboard, press continue, so type your username, and password also, confirm your password. then click on continue as you can see it's uh, installing Ubuntu on my system it will take some time after the installation it will ask for restart installation is done 
and it's asking for restart. Press on restart now. It's restarting. Yeah, it's asking asking for uh, operating system to choose Ubuntu Advanced option for Ubuntu and Windows Boot Manager. I will choose Ubuntu. As you can see, it's booting to Ubuntu. Yeah. It's asking for password. That's all guys. Ubuntu operating system has been installed. It's showing keyboard shortcuts. You can see terminal. Yeah, terminal. You can do any kind of things in this terminal. Yeah, it's done. That's all guys.